Welcome back to FTL Multiverse. Last time, we played through the Kestrel. And we have the Multiverse Federation Cruiser. We have the Union Cruiser. And we also managed to unlock the Outcast Cruiser as well as the Geneocracy Science Cruiser. We were unable to unlock the morphs, although that was large in part due to my not very smart decisions. And I believe, yeah, we didn't manage to defeat the Debt Collector. So we're gonna try harder next time. Interesting, I had this unlocked on a, a previous account, or on my other computer, I don't know what's wrong. Anyway, I'm thinking now is the time for a Federation cruiser. A modified Federation cruiser, armed with a powerful artillery beam and a well-trained crew. So we have a human soldier, this will be our anti-border, this we have a Zoltan. And a Rockman, Advanced Navigator. We also have Artillery. The Artillery is going to be really helpful. So, we will be playing on Easy Extreme, and we will be attempting to unlock 100% of every single ship. Hmm. Alright, this shouldn't be too hard. Let's do it. You slowly exit hyperspeed, transitioning to safe speed, and we enter the hangar. Now we can do something. We can run a salvage mission, and we get a little bit of scrap. Very nice. There was a distress store, and there's a supply depot. I'm thinking I will hit the distress, then the supply. Visit the merchant. And then that's how it is. So it's the human mining colony with a distress beacon. We can send a rock crew to pacify and prevent a riot. The rock is immune to disease, so the humans are intimidated into cooperating. And so the colony is able to find a cure. Happy ending. Supply hub. So we enter a supply depot. And it appeared that someone has gotten to it before us. However, we have a little bit of scrap. And here's another distress beacon. So a pirate a pirate has been illegally mining asteroids. We can beam them out. And with precision cuts, we save the pirates, and they give us a nice reward. Very nice. I think we'll put some power in the engines, and some power in artillery. Because it will be very nice to quickly kill whatever gets in our path. I think next we're gonna go for shields. You know what? Maybe we can't go for the supply. We received transmission. Sorry, sir. This is nothing personal, but we're under orders. The rebel ships go hot. So, this is our first fight. Mm -hmm. 
The Charge Laser 2 is actually pretty decent. I like it. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have my control, so the Rebel has to get die. Hmm, where should I go? I'm thinking I... Like, I can't hit the merchant because I don't have scrap or nothing to sell. So this is I picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. And I want a buddy fleeing from the rebel fence. It hasn't detected and is probably trying to avoid notice. And it's an ambush. Alright, it can't hurt us, so... Now, I should probably take down the shields first, actually. And we got a deconstructor right up to that pirate. Nice. Put two shields and head to the ship. Federation automated supply drone nearby is on the fritz. We can attempt to salvage the drone or shook up this fight, or we can con contact the drone. And it doesn't take nicely to being contacted, so we must destroy it. Ooh, that was not nice. We can probably repair its artillery now. And we get two missiles of drone part and 19 scrap. One back to your stations. Gonna head to this beacon and see what's next. Looks like a rebel ship is here, waiting for you. You can't quite make out what the ship is at first. The captain hails you, revealing themselves to be to have obnoxiously bright blue hair and a smoke glitter. Didn't expect to see me here, did you? Haha, <laughs> that's right. I have returned. It wasn't easy tracking you through time and space, but now I will end you once and for all. Uh, who are you? The rebel captain stutters. Huh? You don't remember me? It is I, your arch nemesis, Leah, the infamous Beam Master. Wahahaha! <laughs> you think you're so clever, always coming in to ruin my day, but I'm getting smarter. You won't beat me this time, biatch! Yeah, sorry, Leah, but you're just free script to me. You can't even hurt me. I'm already preparing for the elites. Yeah, that accuracy on my weapon is ass. Moments before death, you see Leah whip out a teleporter recall button. This isn't the last you've seen of me, Federation scum! Leah warps away, leaving you utterly confused. I just wonder, like, how did you see the her whip out teleporter recall? What? Isn't she tucked cozily behind that ship? I wonder. Uh, 
We only have enough for hacking club D. Well, sorry, we're gonna run a gunship today. Kura. I mean, I suppose we could dive. Kura has some really interesting tasks. Talk with the ship and save as many crew as you can. We have intruders on board. But don't worry, they went into our med bay. Thank you very much. See, we have a human elite, a soldier. They are very good at fighting. We have nothing to worry about. Is that taken care of? Well, it looks like we cannot visit Kura, which is unfortunate. I mean, we can't visit, but... You found the exit beacon, but the rebels have already arrived. An elite is dispatched to track you. The Federation forces are retaliating, but you must jump as soon as possible to the next sector. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't get a free weapon. Doesn't hit an important system. Unfortunately, the missiles are going to be dangerous. Looks like we can jump away now. You can go to the Outcast menu of the Liberated Sector. Uh, choose the Liberated. And this ends this video for today. Well, maybe not today, but, you know, I want to keep these videos nice and short, so I'll see you in Sector 2.